occasional. If you haven't seen the montage before, it's going to be in the link in the description. And by link in the description, I mean scroll down, you'll see my YouTube stuff. So, that is if you're watching on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, then this is from Twitch. That's probably why the quality is low. You can understand these clips. This just makes sense. Um, Naden Visombra. It's just cool clip. Nothing really to analyze there. Mostly it's when the Lucio section hits. That's how I climbed a Masters for real. And it's just important to know what's going on. If you don't play Lucio, you might not understand. Uh, that's how I was when I didn't play Lucio. Shield block the hook. Normal stuff like that. Like I said, these are just normal cool clips. The... Uh, Coaching is not really going to come in for a second. We're just going to sit here and enjoy. It's weird watching these back also because I noticed the mistakes I made and how I feel like I'm bad. I don't know. I feel like I could do things better now. But these clips are a little old. Not super old. It's good, right, Ash? Cool. Thank you. Alright. So. Obviously, it makes sense if you play Lucio what this is, but this is obviously good. If you cast 7 sound barriers and you apply 38. That's a really good stat. Helps you rank up the value of your sound barriers. So this clip, as a Lucio, this makes sense to anybody. Three final blow punches in a row. That's sick. Alright. Now we're going to this one. What's so important about this? Nothing. I mean, nothing that isn't obvious. Boop and Nana boosted Moira off the cart. Big play. This one. Nothing special yet. Get a boop. Get another boop. Alright. Value in this play is unreal. I'll show it first. Alright. So. With this one... Booping the Reinhardt off before the fight even starts. First off is always a huge play no matter what. But if you can immediately turn... The reason that this is a Master's Push montage is because this is plays that I got while I was climbing. And to explain the plays, I guess I won't really make it too serious. Like, obviously, you know, getting a kill is good. But... In order to rank up as Lucio, you're going to have to do things like get boops. And you're going to have to do things like get a boop, immediately turn, and sound barrier, everybody. And push the cart and win. It's, it just has to be consistent. Things like that. This one, I got disconnected. I came back fast. Obviously, I meet Lucio. Got a boop off the map. That explains that clip. This one... Um, you have to pick and choose your fights because you are a healer and you are a support, so you have to provide utility. As you can see right here, see this uh, Sombra going up. So I figured she was going to be up here. So I just went up, booped her off, and ended up getting the final blow. See, the amount of time that it takes to do that? A couple seconds. Four or five seconds. Get a kill. That's big. Everybody's low. You'll see me go right to healing. So, things like that. Super helpful in the rank. Um, okay. This one's kind of big. When you are playing 2CP, especially Volskaya, not a lot of characters have mobility or have the range of motion to get to the hard to hit characters. For example, Hanzo, he can snipe somebody who peeks from kind of far away, or he can climb up to them. The problem is, is that being a Hanzo going up 
to an aggressive angle, you have to be a good shot. And if you're not feeling it is one thing, but another thing is is sometimes you miss and it's you know, it's normal. You probably miss more than you hit. So climbing up, there's a Zen behind me. I'll show you. So I called him out earlier, focused somewhere else and came back. You saw the Hanzo was trying to shoot him, but the Zen wouldn't peek. It takes time from your Hanzo. You don't want your Hanzo just sitting around, not hitting anything, when he could just be hitting easy targets like this drunk rat right here. Um, other than that, your mobility allows you to take engagements with heroes and not get... Or, not not get killed, but you have a lower chance of getting killed because, I mean, it's Lucio. You could just run up this wall, come in fast, do a little juke, punch him, he's dead, and then come right back. So I'll keep this playing. It's a lot easier than Hanzo going up and then standing right in front of a Zen. Came back. Killed the Moira. We actually lost that fight, which was annoying. So I pause it here in the video, but I'll just explain what's going to happen right now. I don't know why our McCree high nooned, but sometimes you just got to work with it. You see it in Owl a lot now. Um, I don't know how it just became a thing, like a very popular thing to do, but booping people into ultimates is more of a it's more of a thing now. I don't know why it always hasn't. It's kind of like Arisa and Hog have always been in the game, but all of a sudden everybody's doing Arisa Hog pulls. So yeah, you've seen people in Overwatch League boop into Diva bombs all the time. You don't see a lot of people booping Reinhardt shields out of the way for McCree high noons though, because that's all obviously all he's doing. So that's what I do. I run in there and I boop him. And you have to be able to do that, I guess, when you rank up the Masters. You don't even have to be insane um, crazy wall ride boy if you want to rank up, really. Obviously, you have to play a Team Lucio and heal, do speeding at the right time, but just small plays like this help you climb so fast. This kid would have had zero. High noon. He wouldn't have gotten to anybody. Boop him. Now he gets three with a dead eye. He's the hero, whatever. This one... You see, I can understand if a lot of these clips don't make sense to like people who watch Overwatch montages for the... how cool they are. If you if you like Lucia montages, they probably make a lot of sense. Um, Genji gets slapped by the Ana. She has him dead to rights. Obviously come in there and completely save him. It's good when you're on defense to not get picked. So... This one is a stall. We were losing. Um, I had to go in. I didn't want to die when I was going in, even though I got nanoed. I didn't really think I was getting a nanoed. So we beat, we nanoed me. So I was not going to die. I just had to touch point. I made it there with plenty of time. And we stalled out, and we ended up winning that fight. I don't know if we won that round, but we definitely won this fight. Just, um... Having a role in a team is important, and playing the role correctly is something you can do in a lot of ways. If you're Sombra, you can distract the enemy for half the game, and they're, if their healers aren't looking at the tanks and the DPS, they can't heal. So even if you have 10 damage, because all you did was appear and hack the Ana and shoot her a little bit, she turned around for 5 seconds while your team is pumping damage into them that's big or you could be the somber that literally one clips the zen or kills everybody on the other team farms emp so fast or you could do just that you could just be the emp farmer you run up to the tanks get 40 all or alt and freaking leave come back do it again and then just emp farm there's a lot of different ways to win with heroes and with lucio you see a lot of high ranked Lucios that are more Reddit Lucios, mostly because their value in their clips comes from flying across the map and killing a Widowmaker. But 
they've tried that seven times. They're off spawn. They get a sick rollout. They know how to do rollouts really good because they're always dead. So they're always flying out of spawn, hitting rollouts, going to the enemy spawn and booping the Orisa that's off spawn off the map. And that's sick. But the value is few and far between between actually playing every game and trying to get a clip every game. It's just not going to happen. In unless you're clip hunting, it's really hard. And like I said, Lucio clips are harder to determine which is good and which is bad. But for me, I like to be a team player, so I'm always with the group. I like to team heal, I like to, I like to team speed. And it takes away from a lot of the aesthetic of the gameplay, which is wall riding around, getting a cool boob, or 1v1ing the enemy Hanzo. A lot of that doesn't happen very often unless you really want to go for it. And it's a play that you can make. But it's so few and far between that you get the... Not not that you get it, but it's just... There's so much CC in the game now, you can't challenge people. If you go to challenge a Hanzo, you don't even know that like there's a McCree there, and you get stunned. Or there's a Brig, or he gets healed. You're not going to win the fight. So, a lot of these things are really hard to choose. For me, I don't like um feeding... I don't like wall riding just for hopefully a boop. Hopefully I boop the Reinhardt forward enough so that I can get a clip. No. I'm, I take the opportunity when it presents itself and nothing more. Other than that, I'm just straight up heal botting or speed boosting. And obviously it's easy to go in when you're playing. Um, If you want to play the Lucio that I play, I'll keep this. Show this clip real quick. Obviously beat the grav, get a kill, just got to hit shots. No big deal. It's, somebody else will hit him even if you don't. You're Lucio. This, obviously, easy boop on a retreat. Still looked clean. So, this is another good example of booping people into position. This is only as it presents itself. They're on the retreat. They could easily escape. What do you have to do? Wall ride behind them, boop them back forward, they lose momentum, they get a little distracted with you, gives your teammates time to catch up, you just run away, and they get the on on the stagger. It's really good. If you want to play a good team style Lucio, it's easy to be disruptive from the front lines, even though it seems weird, and it's kind of, at a gold level, is what they really try to do. They're, it's really feedy at a gold level. If you see um, low rank Lucios playing, they run in, they hit a little stupid wall ride, and then they just like walk up to you and boop you. It's not like, it's not productive at all. It's straight up feeding. You just hit them with your hammer. A team style Reddit Lucio would be, you're playing with your team. Before or during an engagement, you hit a wall ride up, get a little height so that you can't get hurt boop them forward towards your team out of position around the wall get a little distraction in but still be close enough or at least about to be close enough to get value like that somber kill a while ago if you go off on a little venture for six seconds secure a kill or at least you saw her translocate up you booped her down so at least you know your team that's down there that it has the capabilities to get kills and finish people off like McCree or anybody they can do it putting people in bad positions is half of the game and punishing positioning is pretty much all of the game that's all that it is the higher you go the harder it is to punish people's bad positioning and the more important good positioning is so if you're if you want to play with your team and be a team Lucio all you have to do is just stay with your team, go off a little bit up, maybe you won't be healing five at once, maybe he'll be healing one or two, speed boost around with a Genji, give him exits, stuff like that, but you can't, you can rank up being a good red at Lucio, it's really easy, because if you're mechanically skilled at Lucio, you're going to be good at other heroes, as much as you see like people dump 500 hours into Lucio, they could probably pick up McCree and learn him pretty easily and be at least a master's level McCree. They have good mechanics. That's why they're good at these heroes. But if you're a normal guy, this is just a boop. I, I booped him and he happened to fall off the map. Um, 
if you have normal mechanics and you want to just outplay the other team, what you really have to do is um you have to be able to put your the other team in a bad position, but then again you also have to have teammates that'll capitalize on it. It's really hard to be a low rank Lucio that's playing correctly and rank up because you don't have the damage potential or the pick potential really to get kills all the time. Sometimes you you can if you hit like all your headshots, you can get a good little clip or get a lucky kill. But realistically, you're moving a lot and it's hard to aim the slow projectile and the low damage projectiles that you have. So if you're a gold player and you're playing with your team, you're healing five, you jump up behind them and you boop the Reinhardt forward into your Reinhardt and he's just standing there with his shield, there's nothing you can do about that. You did your job and it's going to work at a higher level. But at a gold level, being a team Lucio is hard. I, if you're a low level, I honestly recommend playing anything um, that could carry you out. If you're going to heal, just play Zen or Moira, Baptiste, something like that. Yeah, I won my placements, but I didn't get Masters. Seven placements, dude. Alright, so this is just showcasing my last game, which has a decent amount of highlights and shows the team Lucio style. You get to notice, this is Masters level gameplay. This is not me freaking wall riding around being crazy. It's me playing corners, playing with the team, and letting them do their jobs. It's really good to enable teammates to do their jobs. If you understand Overwatch at all, you understand that everyone has a role. But the problem is, is that everybody logs in, and they decide that it's their turn to carry their entire team to victory. And they don't understand that if everybody does their job fine, it's going to work out. You don't need to be the best DPS in the world to win. You don't need to have 28k damage and 59 picks to win the game. I mean, it's going to help, but realistically, you just need to do your job and be enabled. There's space created right here, and my DPS is has an advantage. I'm going to speed him in. I'm going to go with them. I'm going to try to get these picks. I got bubbled, which is good help from my tanks, so I can survive. The Symmetra shield's up, which is good help from somebody using their um, hero correctly. I see my Sims popping off. I'm going to go up and help her. I'm going to finish blows for her. I'm going to heal her. I'm going to speed her out. I'm going to get her in and out. I'm going to let her do her job. I'm not going to run in there and try to just kill everybody on my own. I'm freaking Lucio. It's just not going to happen. I beat because of the May freeze. She froze because of the grav. Boop her backwards. May's a really good style here. You don't want her on cart. Um, Hanzo hit a dragon and she got a freeze on our sim. It's looking pretty rough right now, honestly. I do pick the May. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm taking a one on one engagement right now. But I'm still healing two people. I'm still with two people. So I pretty much killed the Zen by myself. And it's. This is. Uh, the perfect time to do it. When you see an opportunity like this, you know he's not going to escape from this cubby. You go in, you kill him, you come right back out. That's that's what a team Lucio would be doing. You want to go in, get your value, and immediately come back out to doing your job. That's what most healers have the potential of doing without, like, minus mercy. And Zen's always going to be fighting, but same with Moira. You can throw an orb, a healing orb at your team, go to the Zen, win a quick 1v1, and then come right back to healing. It's a little different because you're a main healer, but you understand. So pretty much kill him on my own. Still healing them, come right back to card. It's not hard. It's not a hard decision. Get two picks is good. We're coming back. See that the Zarya is low. We got some alts coming in. People just straight up just doing their job, killing people. Healing, keeping everybody alive, zoning alts, perfect. It's a team game. I mean, that's how you win. You can have somebody pop, and it can help you win every now and then, but realistically, you get to win more games when everyone's functioning, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Tanks creating space, hitting distraction, taking most of the damage. Healers healing, utility, using utility. Our monkey kind of feeds a lot in this game, is what I noticed. Just probably from playing monkey. Um, 
high ground was gained. I hit a couple of good shots, and it helps the soldier a lot. Sometimes you just need to do um, things like that. Just, I mean, you're not going to rank up if you don't hit plays that grant you SR. If you're a D.Va player and you don't hit a 3k bomb once a day, you probably didn't win too much. Because, I mean, you, you have to hit big plays sometimes. Sometimes you have to turn on your aimbot, hit a shot. Sometimes you have to get a, a boop before a fight starts. If you're, you know, sometimes you have to hit the hook if you play Roadhog. Widow has to hit a clutch headshot. It just helps you get SR. It's really hard to rank up if you're not making some sort of next level play to push yourself. And some of it's luck, a lot of it. I mean, even if you're a sick Widow, and the, the second that the Genji is going for his blade, you hit a headshot on him, that's a huge play. It might have been a little lucky of a shot, or it might have been complete skill, but that's still such a big play that um you might win the whole game from it, because it changes the entire height of the game. If Ana doesn't get her nano off on the Genji, or you shut down a blade, you pretty much want a team fight. And you cancelled one of the, their better alts. Things like that. Important. So, as you see, staying with the team. I tell them to back up from the BAP shield. I don't know if they do, but I pretty much call out Ryan this whole fight. And I'm just doing it just to keep some consistent comms. Nobody else is really talking even though they're here and listening. And they're also all going after different targets. So I'm trying to just stay consistent with saying Ryan. Because he's definitely a sure, easy pick. He charged in. They had a little stabilization and they killed our monkey again off the rip. He just dies a lot. But our Moira was really clutch this game. With her alts especially. And the Reinhardt charged in again. And that's not even a, like... I wouldn't say that's a Masters level play. I mean, he's a Masters level Reinhardt and he just shifted into our backline. With a Symmetra barrier blocking everybody on his team off, so... That was pretty much just an easy pick for everybody. The DPS could clean it up. They didn't have a shield to protect them. They couldn't heal anybody because of the shield we had. I mean, it was just... It all fell into place. This is the push that we win on. This is important. Because... You're going to notice it's not all <laughs> as epic as I wanted it to be. But they really take it. So we get in there. If you've ever seen space created, you you can relate to this picture. We run in, speed boost, scare the shit out of them, they all back off, except the Reinhardt. I probably should have put the Reinhardt in a better position for us, doesn't matter. Normal Reinhardt would have wanted to run away from that anyways. That's what he did, I booped him back, I created huge amounts of space for our team to just take point. So we're pretty much fighting with point control now. Our monkey just jumps in. I kind of go out of position, try to peel for him a little bit, hoping that they'd maybe bubble him or s magically save him. But they collapsed on the monkey. Yikes. So it's not epic because, as you see, my, the Genji tries to blade me. He goes for me first, but I boop him, only to turn the corner and run into a... Fire Strike that just came out of a BAP alt. I would have died anyways to a normal Fire Strike, but... Good thing that I didn't die to the Genji. He would have had a dash reset. I mean, it's... It's good peel for my team, too. They probably healed me. And then sometimes you just have to hope that your team can function. And that's exactly what happened here. I was coming back as fast as I could, but they were pretty much solid. Sim got her alt quick, Moira got her alt quick, we won. And that was the end. We got Masters playing a team style Lucio. That's the analysis of my montage. So those are pretty much anything that I thought was a game changing play, some sort of highlight that pushed me to become a Masters player <coughs> on my climb. Simple things. Booping people out of position, staying with your team, enabling them, speed boosting them at the right time. Um, good plays like, you know, booping the right heart shield out. Jump out of pick when you can get it, but 
don't get aggro, super aggro. I mean, you can. You can spend thousands of hours learning how to wall ride, amazing, and getting these insane picks and winning Widow 1v1s against GMs. It's just a lot of time investment, and for a normal person, I only have like, I want to say, not even 300 hours on Lucio. So, something that works, you know, for a normal person. If you want to, if you play Overwatch casually and you just want to rank up, and you really like Lucio, you're gonna learn things. You're gonna notice yourself getting way better at wall riding and learning um, tips and tricks and just getting better at the at the hero. So it'll come naturally. But if you want to play at an averagely high level while you're learning to become a master of your hero like a GM player it's really good to just play a team Lucio and support your team don't go for crazy boops unless it's the easiest thing possible and yeah I mean you just don't want to be a feeder you want to help as much as possible if you like Lucio and you see your reaper on a flank speed boost him help him get in and out especially if he messes up if, obviously you can learn on other videos when to speed boost and when to heal and when to do this and when to do that but you just gotta think about your kit and how it can help your team at the time. If your DPS is running up there and the other team's kind of backing up, speed them in. Help them. If your team's dying, it's good to be there and heal them. You're a healer. You have a pretty good amp it up heal. It's not the worst. So if you're off on the other side of the map, 1v1ing a Widow, and the other team is dumping a lot of uh, damage on you, all that you did was take away what could be a headshot, a lucky headshot, a widow missing, a, a widow doing chip damage here and there. You could have easily healed it up while you're on point and done damage to the people that are on point. You take yourself out of the game, you're a little more valuable than a widow. And if it's a good widow and you challenge her, I don't know what you're thinking, because you're probably going to die. So that's really it. That was my educational, how to get to masters, low masters, playing normal Lucio. And those are my highlights. So just a little quick analysis of highlights, pretty much. Hope it makes sense for anybody who doesn't play Lucio and was wondering what these clips even meant. Because they do have a lot of meaning. Um, I wouldn't have capped them if they didn't. So thanks, 2D, for the idea. I'll see everybody next time I stream, which might be later, but 2D will probably stream, so check him out. Um, I'll put him in the YouTube description, like, because he gave me the idea. Alright.